Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Morrowind. <clears throat> Excuse me. Where we are in the Ashlands. Well, we're in the Mulagamur region anyway, which uh, looks pretty Ashlandish to me, although I, so part of me is not entirely sure if it's technically the Ashlands with a capital A. Um, nevertheless, we're here with our lesser Dark Elf Revenant, who has a shiny magical helmet that I want off him again at some point, as soon as I find a replacement. Our undead companion, who we have created through uh, much long suffering on our part through all the various trials and tribulations that were required to bring this fellow to life. Um, we still don't even know at this point whether or not we can have him following, our, following us around in polite society without polite society having a fucking fit over it. But nevertheless, he's here, and I'm trying to get him back to my hideout in Vivek, which um, I can't simply teleport because he's not able to follow me, which is fair enough, I figure. Um, having an undead servant that's effectively expendable like this, created for free, almost for free, ought to have its drawbacks at the end of the day. So we're going to roll with it. But what I am going to do, though, before we leave this area... And we do need to leave this area because it, you may have noticed that practically all my armor is broken at this point. It's, you know, <laughs> it's completely trashed. Um, our strength has been damaged. Our personality has been extremely badly damaged. Um, we've got Ash Chancer, apparently. Chanka. See if we can fix that, at least. Come on, give me some cure disease. Or blight disease, specifically, actually. There we go. That's helped a little bit, but our strength is still damaged. Um, we're in a bit of a state, really. However, we are not yet done. For I wish to return to the Tomb of Death. The respawning Tomb of Doom. Because I want to go see if it's actually got... Um... Any more baddies in it, because if it hasn't, I'd like to run in there and pick up that axe and give it to this gentleman. And I thought to myself, why why would I do that when he doesn't have a particularly good axe skill? The reason I would do it is because, one, it's a very good axe, and two, because the axe, well, one of the reasons it's very good is because it has an enchantment on it that absorbs health when strikes. Thank you, Seducer. You were a right bitch, weren't you, to kill? You really were. Um, my master speaks to me. Yeah, uh, we're going to give you this big, stonking great axe, my dude. Because it's really fucking good. And you can forget about that. Leave that behind. And it's got absorb health on it. Which is really useful because it means that this gentleman, when he hits stuff, will, will regain some health. So I don't have to heal him all the time. So that's that's my thinking anyway. It should should be pretty a pretty good plan, hopefully. And the main drawback really is the fact that his axe skill is not very good, so he's not necessarily going to hit people very often with it. Although considering the damage stats on it, he, if he does hit someone with it, it's going to be it's going to hit with a serious wallop. That's for sure. That's for sure. So um yeah, there we go. I'd like to address something as well as we go up here past uh, Arkantand. And our way back to something resembling civilization. Um, I do apologize for no Morrowind video being released last week. Uh, I did explain on Twitter, but I'm aware that most of you probably don't follow my Twitter account. For various reasons which are your own. Um, and therefore we're not uh, aware of this. But um, basically what the problem was is I, I, my, I, I spilled a cup of tea all over my keyboard. And it was pretty non-bloody functional afterwards as you can imagine um and unfortunately my spare keyboard was also not working because evidently the last time my keyboard broke i forgot to replace the replacement so to speak so basically i had to wait until the replacement arrived um to, to, to cut a long story short um and as a result I wasn't able to get any more recorded that weekend so uh yeah there you go it's unfortunate but these things happen basically we were still able to get a load of Oblivion because by by the point by the time I got around to rec recording Oblivion on Wednesday, um, it uh, you know was no longer a problem. I had a new one, so yeah, there you go. That's why there wasn't any Morrowind last week. Apologies for that. I know a lot of you um, eagerly anticipate these episodes, 
being released on Sundays. Um, and I'm sorry I wasn't able to do that last week, but, you know, it was kind of a bit of an act of God, so to speak. I, um, after having never spilt an entire cup of tea onto my desk like that in many, many years, because I'm quite careful, generally speaking, um, it just happened to be the one day that I tripped over and just emptied the entire mug all over the desk. Right, pretty much on the, on the, on the keyboard. So, uh, that's, I hope, let's hope that doesn't happen again. Um, it could be worse, to be honest with you. We could have gone somewhere far more critical than the keyboard, to be honest with you. If it had gone into my audio box, for example, I would have actually burst into tears, I think, because that thing was fucking expensive. <laughs> and not as easily replaced as a keyboard. So, yeah, it could have been much, much worse. But nevertheless, it was a little bit annoying. So, sorry about that. But we're back recording this. I'm actually recording this right today on Sunday. In spite of the fact that I'm fucking knackered today. Because uh, I've been up since the wee hours of the morning. Um, but nevertheless, I'm doing it because I, I couldn't really blow it off two weeks in a row. I, I thought, you know, ugh, I don't fucking care how knackered I am. I don't think I'll quite get away with doing with not putting any Morrowind up for two weeks running. That would be... Um, I figured that would not go down terribly well, no matter my justification. So um, here I am. It might not be a very long episode though, because I've got to. I've got, you know, it's like I'm recording this about four o'clock in the afternoon, and I've still got to, got to find time to to re to render this, edit it, upload it, and all that good, on all that jazz. By by the time the day is out, so you know. Um, anyway, technical bullshit rambling aside. Hello, Balmora. I've never been quite so happy to see you, to be honest with you. Um, on the bright side, the guards and stuff don't appear to be attacking me on sight for having this guy following me around. That's nice, I guess. Oh, I forgot about this. Um, pay gold. Oh, God. I bet he took a bunch of stuff off me that, uh, that was technically stolen. I mean, I don't... I don't immediately see anything important missing, but uh, yeah, I'm sure there was at least something I got that I just lost as a result of that. Oh well, can't be helped. Unfortunately, that was the result of. Uh, wow, you really don't like me at all, do you? It's probably because my. Oh no, my personality's fine. I fixed that. Ah, uh, he just just really doesn't like me. So I'm a filthy lawbreaker, I suppose. Um. Yeah. It's because that flipping golden saint or whatever reported my crime of carrying a body around or something. Um, it's a bit peculiar, but there it is. Can't get over how damn quiet this game is. After having played a lot of Oblivion lately, and uh, t I'll tell you, tell you, I was actually playing some Planescape Torment earlier, which I've not played in, in many a long year. But I've been quite enjoying it, as it turns out. I was kind of considering maybe starting a video series of it. Um, but I'm a bit on the fence about it. Part of me just wants to play the damn game to myself. <laughs> Selfish like that, but um, <laughs> uh, I also don't really know how many people would honestly watch a Planescape Torment series from me, to be honest with you. Um, it's not quite the same kind of RPG as Morrowind or Oblivion or what have you, so uh, eh. But anyway, I was playing it, and it's a very noisy game. Like, you walk around in the city and stuff like that, and you can actually hear sound effects and stuff like that. Morrowind compared to that and compared to Oblivion and compared to, you know, flipping Kin and Cone Deliverance and every other game I've been playing recently, to be honest with you, is very quiet. There's just that crackling fire over there, occasional bits of wind like that, and there's really nothing else. But I don't know what could be done about that, to be honest with you, because, um, I just, you know... The sounds part of the Morrowind graphics and sounds overhaul is a bit... Uh, bleh. Like the sounds are... Uh, well, a combination of overdone and... and... and, um, and quite low quality, unfortunately. I'm currently looking for a smith. Oh, no, I should go into the Fighters Guild. I know a guy in here who can repair some of my stuff. For quite a lot of money, but uh, it's got to be done because most of my gear is completely trashed right now. Hello, Wayne. Repair, please. Yeah, got a lot to repair.
That cost me a pretty penny, but on the bright side, I can actually re-equip this stuff again now. Which is much better. I feel much better now having all of my armor back on me. I must admit. Uh, you see, that's as much... Yeah. I feel like a piece of me was missing and now it's been restored. Right. A good jolly good. Anything good in here? Oh, hello. It's a few bits. Uh, I'll take those. I should have just taken the free hammers and used those. I'm sure someone's already halfway through typing that in the comments right now and has possibly stopped halfway through typing that comment and hopefully now feels a little bit foolish because I have now addressed this myself in the video. You bloody backseating bastards, to paraphrase Monty Python. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. But seriously, though, holy crap. Some of you guys do love to backseat like champions. My goodness. Um, dude, uh, oh, I'm looking in crates and things. Don't know why at all. Right, so anyway... Yeah, Tragrelar's basically, to kind of recap a bit, Tragrelar's basically giving us free free reign to go out there and create more evidence, essentially, for a while. And once I've got my got the hang of it a bit more, he's got more to teach me, apparently. But I don't know really what arbitrary point at which he will decide to teach me more stuff. So for now, we'll have you following us around. We really do need a name for you, don't we? Um, but anyway, we've got you following us around. And I'm sure we'll create more. But, uh, yeah, what, what else is on my immediate kind of to-do list, though? That's the thing. Well, got to go back to Red Mountain. Or Ghost Gate, at least, to find Julan, if he's still around. Um, what else? That might be it, you know. We did the Marion's Dagon stuff because we've got Marion's Razor now, which is very good. Uh, oh, there's the Couch to Babby tribe stuff. That's true. I um, don't know whether or not I'm going to do that right now. I've got a few bits to do. What, what do we have to do? There's an egg mine. Uh, I believe we have a spell that will allow us to do that now. Your Blight Disease on self. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, it's probably in here somewhere but with a funny name which means I can't immediately find it but I'm sure we learned a spell to do this to cure the, 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 the Kwama Queen I've been moused over it already a couple of times now what the Do 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 Vex Ah Vivex Touch, that was it, yes. We got it off the Nisus shrine, didn't we? That was it. That was it. We got it off the Nisus shrine. Well we can't cast them because we've got no bloody magic here, but you know. We get the idea. Actually, you tell you what, I need to go visit the temple. I wonder what'll happen if I bring my undead servant to the blasted temple. Now that'd be quite amusing. Hopefully he doesn't burst into flames or something. Um, I'll turn into a pile of ash. But uh, I actually need my attributes restored, so... I think we'd better go do that. And if I don't do it here, then I've got to go to some bloody Imperial Shrine somewhere. So, let's just do this quickly. Ah, there we go. Right of the tribunal, I will donate you five and get um CV restoration in return. Excellent. What I really need is a restoration spell that like heals every attribute for like one point or something. That I could repeatedly cast to, to bring my attributes back up when they've been damaged like that. Um that would be jolly nice, I have to admit. We are level twenty two, folks. Level twenty sodding two. It doesn't really feel like it, if I'm honest with you. But uh, nevertheless, we're level 20 fucking 2. I'm impressed. Um, right. Oh, yeah, we've got all sorts of... Bo yeah, oh, oh, there is so much inventory dumping that is going to be happening when I get back to my hideout. My goodness me. 
It really, really is. Um, or anyway, so we're going to take the Silstrad to Vivek, and then I'm going to head over to St. Olm's. Or is it St. Dalen? Crap, I don't even remember where my damn hideout is. I honestly don't. Chokeweed. That's useful stuff. Um, I'll head back down there through the canal works and all that, and, um, and then we'll leave our friend there for now. Until I have need of him in the future. So I'll leave him there so that I can quickly recall to there and then pick him up very easily. And yeah, see, he has followed me on the Salt Strider, so that's not such a big deal. We can we can travel like that with our undead friends. Look at that sunset. That's so pretty. Anyway. We better go find a gondolier, I suppose. Okay, we're over here now. You can't get the gondolier directly to the, um, what do you call it? To the St. Alms or St. Dillon cantons, fortunately. Um, for whatever reason, you can only go to like the arena or the temple on either side. That sort of has to do. Very pretty indeed, look at that. Um, right, yeah, it's, it's these two here. And I forget which. <laughs> Guess we're gonna have to go down to the canal works of both until I remember which. Um, which bloody canton my hideout is actually under? Uh, because I, th I mean, I, th my, um, I think it's St. Olm's, but I'm not sure. Because normally I just teleport there, and I, uh, very occasionally I go briefly up into the waste works to talk to the traders, and that's sort of it, really. I'll know if we're in the right place, but look down here. Yeah, we are in the right place, good stuff. Because our trader buddies are here. So if we go down here... Is it this one? No. It was the other one. This will take us back to our hideout. Ish. Ugh, close enough. I think we had to go in the other end. Oh, f***ing it. <clears throat> You've contracted a billion diseases all at once. Good, good heavens. That is, I'm going to have to be teleport my ass out of here to the, to the temple directly, aren't I, to get this cured? Oof. Dear me. I just contracted about seven fucking diseases all at once there. Look. Rattles. Whitbane and chills all at once. Fucking rats. <laughs> the vermin tide descended upon me and I've been blessed by the great horned rat with many, many poxes, apparently. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. All right, well, anyway. Welcome to your new home, lesser dark elf revenant. I do not have a better name for you so far, unfortunately. Unfortunately, um, you couldn't stand over here or something, I suppose. Might as well. There you go. My mouth just speaks to me. Um, Revenant instructions. Nothing. Revenant follow. Guard this spot. I will guard this place. And I, I, I'd quite like to have that helmet back if it's all the same to you. I have to conceal your uh, appearance at the moment. But you can just stand there with your skull staring at me. Um, for all I care. Hey, you, you'd probably, you'd look quite cool with that on and fortify your personality so people people would think you're a quite quite a charming undead if you're wearing that. <laughs> I'm always tempted to do that, you know. Um, if you were wearing that, I could almost probably convince Julan that you're just some bloke who's very quiet. But follows me, so that, that, I've, that, uh, that you're an old acquaintance of mine or something. Because that's a powerful bloody artifact right there. That, that can make the ugliest motherfucker on the planet seem quite quite a handsome devil. It worked wonders on you. Yeah, it would, you know. It would. And if I ever needed a personality boost, I could just quickly uh, grab it off you. <laughs> mm, that's tempting, you know. 
That's tempting. That would be a way to have you follow me around with Julan without him suspecting a damn thing, because I can mask your true identity with the mask of Clavicus Vile. Uh, mate, can you... Oh, dear. My undead seems to be malfunctioning. Um, no. Please, that's 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 the oven. Please, leave it alone. Oh, dear. Oh, I've got a few things I need to drop off here. Well, a few things, I mean, an awful lot of stuff. <sighs> Crikey, I don't even know where to begin. Uh, well, I suppose with books, I guess. Um... Corp preparation and necromancy bits. Do we even have a necromancy pile right now? I don't think we do. We have, um, yeah, we have a vampire pile and we have a daedra pile. We do not have any kind of necromancy pile. Well, I suppose we'll have to make one. Um, try Grilla's notes. Um, I suppose my journal ought to go there too, really. <laughs> but uh, I won't, because we actually need it. Um, there you go. Corpse preparation-y stuff. Come back, I suppose I can come back and grab these if I need them. I don't intend to raise any more corpses just yet, so they can stay here for now. Um, inventory of potions, inventory of books. That's something I'm going to do off camera at some point. Um... Yeah. Bone meal. I'm going to put all the bone meal. How much does... Like... Does it... It doesn't seem to make any difference to my carrying capacity at all, this 33 bone meal. 224. 218. Yeah, like, it's a tiny difference. I was thinking of leaving the bone meal here, too, but I, I don't know if I will. Um, in fact, I don't think I'll bother. I'll leave. I'll, I'll carry it with me. These Daedra hearts, though. Um, black and soul gem. Do I carry it with me? Uh, it is an empty one, so I guess I will carry it with me for now. Expensive gold. Not a gold eye ring. Yeah, lots of junk to sell. Anything that needs dumping, though. I don't think so. Hmm. Uh, this Clavicus Vile thing really... For God's sake, man. Get down from there. Fine, just stand by the cooking pot. Do what you want to do. Just don't... Don't do that nonsense. It's quite irritating. Stop twitching. What's wrong with you? Whatever. Apparently he's an aspiring cook. Um, the Bloodworm Helm. I'm getting lots of stutter here as I mouse over stuff. That's when you realise you've got too much damn stuff in the room. <laughs> nice Blade of the Monarch. You'd be pretty effective with that, I reckon. Oh, yeah. He's got pretty good long blade skill from what I recall, so... Why is he obsessed with that corner of the room? It's very peculiar. I don't want you to do anything weird, mate, actually. Um, yeah, follow me. I would like you to stand, like, right over here, to be honest with you. Just wait right here. Sorry. Sorry. I like to think maybe he's got a Cockney accent. My master speaks to me. Sort of, sort of, well, not Cockney, but you know what I mean, like. Uh, tell me your skills. Skills are, what do you do? Marksman zero. Crikey. Yeah, long blade's his thing. Axe isn't too bad, but definitely long blade is his thing. For sure. I read instructions. Uh, I don't follow. Let's go. What would you have of me? Yes, master. I only obey your command as you command, master. But with a sort of otherworldly echo to it or something, I don't know. Hmm. 
<laughs> Instead of just a monotone golem voice. I don't know. My master speaks to me. Um. Do, 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 do. I'm, just, I'm now starting to imagine him as this kind of comical sergeant major who just who salutes and stuff. <laughs> Clicks his heels and stuff every time I tell him to do something. Um, right. Wait here. Sire? I do like that he calls me Sire, I have to admit. Okay, so he's just going to chill here. Not on the bookshelf, so to speak. That's fine. That works for me. I'm a, I've got a lot of junk on me. As evidenced by my damn carrying capacity bar. Uh, but I can't bring myself to really part with him. At the moment. Most of it I, I want to sell, you see. That's the main thing, really. Most of this crap I just want to get some actual damn money for. Um, you know... This is... So very tempting. Really is. Now, I think I'll leave you here for now. You can get settled in and get familiar with the place. Um, make yourself at home and all that. Uh, just don't touch the, cu the cursed um, chest and closet. Or that chest either, for that matter. Leave them alone. Um... Yeah, stick about egg bag is. I should be careful with my instructions to him, you know. Maybe he's, you know, maybe he's like, maybe he's like the skeletons and stuff in in Planescape. And you tell them to do something, and then they'll keep doing it until you tell them to stop. So if you tell them to walk in a rectangular pattern along the floor, they'll keep doing it until they literally fall to bits. So if I tell them to wait here, I'll probably be wait right there for the next thousand years if necessary until. I come along and tell him otherwise. Um, God, I do have a lot of junk, don't I? Goodness gracious me. And I really should be doing some alchemy type stuff, shouldn't I? Really should. I'm going to grab all of this. Um, Was that everything? Nope. It's missing the calcinator. Right. That weighs quite a bit, this stuff, but hey. Marshmallow! Uh, not Kawami. Um, Skull. No, not Skull. Yeah, no. Uh, is it Chokeweed? No. She might be. I don't know until I make the damn thing. I think if I mix... Yeah, Pork Bowl Brute and Marshmallow. That'll give me Restore Health. There we go. Guami and Skull. Restore Fatigue. Chokeweed. Racer Plumes. And if I got if I got my hands on some Trauma Root, it would give me a Levitate Potion. But I don't have any trauma root, and I don't really need levitate potions. Well, actually, you know what? I say that, but then it's quite funny the number of times I accidentally fall to my death. So I'm not able to cast levitation in time, and my boots run out of charge. So actually, having said that, maybe I should. <laughs> anyway, um, jolly good. Jolly good. I think you need a name for you. I can't think of one at present, though. Um, yeah, you better wait here then. Uh, I'm gonna teleport myself out of here. Am I? 9 p.m. And I tell you what. Yeah, no, I will teleport myself out of here for now. Kablooey. Um, I wish to go inside. Get myself cured since I have about six different diseases right now. I'm like Mr. Burns. The only reason I'm still alive is because they're all fighting amongst each other. No, I don't want Vivex Fury. What are we doing? Oh, I was looking for CV uh, restoration, and then I realized, oh, actually, I need I need cure disease. That's what I need. So 
So, uh, yeah, never mind. Uh, sorry, like I said, I'm pretty tired. A little bit handicapped in the metal department at the moment. Anyway, now, that's done. I shall recall back out of here. Yeah. That's so many people telling me to install some sort of recall teleportation mod, blah, blah, blah. Not doing it. I'm not doing it, folks. For a couple of reasons. One, this installation is fragile. I do not wish to uh, further damage it by installing unnecessary mods. And for that matter, yes, it's an unnecessary mod. The ability to mark and recall in this game is a very powerful ability. And I do not wish to install some sort of mod that, that basically makes it completely... Uh, frivolous and overpowered to the point where I can place as many marks as I like and recall all over the place. No, 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 no. Mark, mark and recall is a very, very, very powerful ability in this game. This is a game where you're supposed to be spending a lot of time walking around the overworld. Um, occasionally there are fast travel routes via still striders and boats that make life a little bit easier, but generally the ability to just teleport yourself instantly to from one, at whatever end of the map you are to a specific location that you've set is a powerful ability that should not that should remain that way um it's a gameplay balance thing as far as i'm concerned the, 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 you know it's it's a thing that you need to work around it's a, it's a part of the game that is just that you need to i don't know just just that needs to be part of the way you play you plan around the fact that you can only recall to a single location at any time um, I, I fundamentally do not just, just, just do not want to install some sort of mod that allows me to mark and recall to 26 different places. It would, um, it would really trivialize the, the act of having to travel anywhere, to be honest with you. Um, it honestly would. If I could just be like, oh yeah, click my fingers and suddenly, oh yeah, I'm in, I'm in Nice. Just click my fingers, oh yeah, I'm in Port Telvanis again, and that's great. Click my fingers back in my hideout. Click my fingers I'm in Sadrus Mora. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. I really don't want to do that. I, I that would really fundamentally uh, unbalance. If that's not even the, probably the right word, but I feel like un, unbalance the the gameplay in terms of the way you're. It, it's designed in terms of the way that you're supposed to be able to get around the world. I'm babbling here a little bit, but. Maybe some of you are getting what I'm talking about here. I, um... You know, this is a game that was very deliberately designed in a way that omitted fast travel. Because fast travel, you must remember, did exist in Daggerfall, the game that came before this. And the developers very specifically decided when they made this game, no. No instantaneous fast travel from wherever you are. If you're going to fast travel, you can do it from specific locations via guild guides and salt striders and boats and things of that nature. We're not going to let you just go from anywhere to anywhere. That's not. It's it's part of the way this game is fundamentally designed at its core um, in terms of how you're supposed to get around it. And it's something that I like about the game and something I wish to preserve. Uh, and 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 basically installing a recall on teleportation mod like that would would break it a bit, to be honest. I've spent far too long explaining this, but nevertheless, I felt I should because there were so very many comments about it I got. Yes, it makes my life more diff difficult not having such a mod installed, but that's sort of the point. Me trying to get from here to Port Telvanis, as I will be doing soon should be no simple matter it should not it should be quite an undertaking to travel that epic a distance quite frankly and it will be an epic journey and it will be an epic journey because i'm not instantaneously teleporting myself there and back um so yeah anyway take me to the arena i wish to go to ghost gate which will require me going to Aldrune and then traveling on foot from Aldrune around the ghost fence to actual ghost gate. Not instantaneously teleporting myself there, just to illustrate my point. I'd need to take these gondolas back around to the foreign quarter. From the foreign quarter, I will then take a silt strider northwards. 
it, it's just... I don't know. What can I say? I like the way the game works in this regard. I do not wish to disrupt that and basically cheat by installing a mod that allows me to mark and recall anywhere I damn well please uh, to any number of locations. Just don't want to do it. Um, it would it, for one thing, it would completely render Elm CV intervention and divine intervention, for example, completely useless. It'd be completely pointless spells if I could just set unlimited marks, for example. Take me to... Well, Balmora to start with. And then from there, I believe we can get it. Ah, it's raining. Does this mean my ancient wisdom, will it hold true? Will it be an ash storm in Aldrun? It's raining in Balmora. It is quite frequently ash storming in, Bal in Aldrun. But not today. It's twice the game has made a fool of me like that, you know. Twice it's done that. Well, it's kind of foggy at least, but hey. This is good news, because this means that I can actually... Um, I could have taken the guild guide to get here without spending like a day traveling, but I didn't. Um, this is actually good news, though, because it means that I can, uh, I, can, I can go directly to Ghostgate from here now without having to wait out uh, the storm or anything like that. There we go. Some armor route, which I'm now going to mix into a potion. Actually, no, I'm not. I'll do that when I have a chance to sit down somewhere. So it's just the middle of the street here. But I've got my alchemy equipment with me now, which I aim to actually bloody use. Scathe Claw. I have a feeling that does something. I just don't quite remember what. Cure Poison, Drain Strength. Yeah, but I'm sure there's another effect it has that's actually quite useful. Could be imagining that, but I'm fairly sure there is. Anyway, we need to hop over here. Head this way. We've made this journey before. I'm fairly certain. Way back through the sands of time. I, I do recall making this trip with Bathos a few times. Um, at least I'm pretty sure of it. It was a long time ago, back in the first follow me of the LP, though. I believe it was when we came through here doing our pilgrimage of the Seven Graces, actually, come to think of it. I recall a oh, bit of green petals. Yeah, a bit of green plant. Not oh. every time I look at those, I'm reminded of a quest from Blood Moon, and I instantly feel this urge to, to collect bit of green petals. There's a quest in Blood Moon that I will not spoil for you beyond I will say that it requires you to have some bit of green petals. Bit of green plants do not grow on Solstheim when you're doing it in the in the in the in the Solstheim expansion, Blood Moon. Um, which means you have to go back to the mainland and look for bitter green petals. And ever since then, and it was quite an annoying quest the first time I ever did it because I didn't have any bitter green petals on me. And um, it took me quite a bloody time to find some. Now, ever since then, ever since I've played this game, ever since that that time, the first time I played through it, every time I look at bitter green plants, I feel this urge to just grab them while they're there. I can't remember if they honestly have any. Half decent alchemical effects on him, to be honest with you. I tell you what, I need your race plumes, my friend. Oh, but you don't have any, of course. Oh, I should double check it's not a blighted one or something next time. I don't want to get any more diseases. I'm getting quite sick of having diseases. Pun not actually intended there, I'm afraid. Apologies for that. So you, I think you're diseased. Yeah, see so your disease. I'm not touching you. Not because I'm some sort of germaphobe, but just because I'm not stupid. It's a diseased creature. You don't want to tap with its corpse. Because it will actually give you the disease if you've not figured that out by this point. Because I've accidentally done that a couple of times in this LP already, but if you'd forgotten... There's a thing in Morrow, and if you if you mess with the corpses of diseased creatures, there's a chance you'll actually get the disease yourself. So it's in your interest to leave the diseased corpses well alone, which is fairly sensible, it has to be said. And here we are, good old Ghost Gate. It's far grander than it was in the olden days, but well, nevertheless. We are here, and it looks pretty cool. 
love this bridge, actually. It's huge. It looks much more like a fortress than it used to do, to be honest with you. It's much more like a fortress. Anyway. Suppose now we must proceed through this portal here and to the other side and see if by some miracle Julian is in fact alive. Otherwise, I'll have to bring some proof of his death back to Zentibani so that he will release himself from his oath that he seems to have sworn and uh, will actually provide me with the dashed information that I bloody well need. Because that would be jolly nice. Not that I'm in much of a rush to get back to Kaius with his info, but, you know. I'm intrigued by this Nerevarine stuff, and um, I'm mostly just frustrated with the fact that the bloke refuses to actually give me what I want. I think that's it's just, on a, it's just a sort of matter of principle, frankly. That's, that's what annoys me. Anyway. Time we went through. Ugh, it's never going to be pleasant, is it? Never going to be pleasant. Bloody Rand Bounton. I better not get corpus disease. 